Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to increase storage capacity on your Lenovo Yoga laptop. So if you have the same laptop as I do here, this is the uh, Yoga 6. If you're not sure where to look for the model number, and I'll show it to you at the back of the computer. So um, if you flip it around, take a closer look at the back of the computer. It says Yoga 6. 13ALC6. All right, so this is again uh, Lenovo Yoga 6, and I'll walk you through step by step on how to increase hard drive storage capacity. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to get yourself a T5 screwdriver. A T5 meaning is the torque 5. Okay, so a T5 screwdriver. We'll be removing all the screws here. If you're not sure where to buy the tools and the replacement um, hard drive, please check down the link description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement part from and follow along the video for the upgrade. All right, so once you have removed six of the screws, three on each side of them, the next step is to get a plastic prying tool or anything that can go in between the plastic cover right here, okay? get in between it and gently just pry it open all right when you have removed the back cover this is pretty much the entire layout of your laptop the main part down here would be your battery and we are concerned about replacing the hard drive here I have the full size m.2 SSD drive as you can see the size is a lot bigger the one that comes with it is half of the size is a lot shorter okay so let's continue with it um, technically we need to remove or get rid of this sticker this is pretty much the warranty void sticker so anything you damage that label you pretty much void that warranty so what I did was I removed that screw that is at the end of it and I slide that hard drive to my right at 45 degree angle and just slide it out this is the shorter version you can buy the full size like I do here and just slide it in and close it down and get the battery uh, sorry the screw back onto it pretty much that is the process of installing uh, or upgrading your hard drive now before I finish up that video here uh, I just wanted to point it out to you if you do change out your m.2 drive to a larger capacity here are a few things that you need to understand because this hard drive here has all the windows your settings your program your data right so it comes with Windows 10 or Windows 11 whatever that is and you have your personal data on it program settings everything is in here now when you change it to this new hard drive what happened is that this is blank brand new it doesn't have any information on it so when you install you don't get nothing on your computer so the few ways you can do it one of them is what I call cloning the hard drive so you can get one of these USB adapter prior to disassemble your computer or take it apart while this thing was still original in the computer here I want you to get the USB adapter and the new hard drive you want to stick it into a USB all right and do a cloning process so pretty much you clone everything from here over to the new drive bef before you install it once the cloning is done successfully then everything from this old hard drive information 
will be transferred to the new hard drive okay meaning your windows your data your settings everything would be identical look the same when we call the process of cloning so that is option one option two is let's just say you went ahead and install the new hard drive and you decided to start fresh from the beginning so you you're not going to buy this but you can buy one of this so this is the uh, what we call the Windows uh, installer the USB installer uh, they sell them on Amazon or eBay um, when you can buy the USB you can do a fresh install Windows on your new drive technically you're just gonna start fresh from the beginning now if you do not want to buy this you can actually create one for yourself it's free right off the Amazon uh, sorry right off the Microsoft website all you need to do is to get a USB thumb drive and then you can just follow along the video on how to create a bootable Windows installer all right so that being said that's pretty much it I uh, hope this is a very straightforward uh, able to show it to you on how to upgrade the uh, um, the hard drive if you run out of space all right if you find this video is helpful please smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe thanks for watching until next time bye now